Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for February 15th. Currently looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This pair closed down today, did form an inside bar. We are looking for this pair to potentially break out. Uh, we are looking for it to continue moving sideways, however, overall. Uh, look for it to potentially go as high as 90.72, possibly as low as 89.37. Look for some resistance around 9040 and look for some support around 8955. Now, switching to the Euro USD, this particular pair uh, created an inside bar, did close down, did not break previous uh, support here, pulled back within pretty much previous support of these two sessions as well. Look for this pair to continue moving sideways with a heavy bias to the downside. Look for it to move lower and hit some resistance around 13700 possibly moving down to 135.29 and hit some support there. Now the pound US dollar pair, this pair created an inside bar also, uh, closed down, moving sideways overall, bias to the downside. Look for it to potentially go as high as 158.06, possibly as low as 155.21. Look for some resistance around 157.40. And look for some support around 155.75. Okay, now looking at the U.S. Swiss, this pair created an inside bar also today. Uh, with the U.S. markets closed and several of the other markets closed globally, uh, this is why we've had such a uh, such a small range uh, for this previous session. Now we are looking for this pair to continue moving sideways with a heavy bias to the upside. Look for it to hit some resistance and move as high as 1.0827, possibly moving down uh, to 0, 1.0695 uh, and hit some support there. Now, as far as news announcements, we still have uh, the Swiss market closed uh, for tomorrow uh, due to Carnival. Now, that's pretty much all the news announcements for tomorrow. Now, what am I looking for during this next session? We have a strong support that's been created at the low of this session. We do have an inside bar that's been created. Uh, and as the U.S. market opens up during this next session, uh, I do believe that we'll break through and it'll move lower down to this point. There's about a 40 pip uh, price movement between those two. Look for the breakout of those two. There we go. And you can see that we have roughly about 45, 43, 45 pips there worth of movement uh, between those two. So definitely, definitely keep an eye on this pair, the pound US dollar pair. I do believe we'll get a short here and be able to exit here pretty quick. Use the one to one risk to reward. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.